Well, hello. It hasn't been that while long. Well, it hasn't been a while, really. And if you're seeing this video, then you obviously know that this is the Monotype Battle Association, and this is the application video for both people who want to play and team builders and spectators, which we'll be talking about later. I'm here, obviously, with Tori. Ew. And obviously, this logo to the left was made by yours truly, and the slides were made by yours truly. Uh, at least, you know, just like, you know, the literal slide. But, obviously, if you guys know me, I did the Monotype Monotype League, if you know any of my content. And I decided to change up the name because that name didn't really roll off the tongue. So this would be considered the Monotype Season 2, technically. But, Monotype Battle Association. Anyways, so, let us get started with just rules. We'll talk about things you'll probably be asked in the application. And then we have a little thing towards the end, but we'll, we'll, get, to, we'll get there. So... Obviously, with the rules, we have a 6v6 level 100 anything goes on Pokemon Showdown because the monotype, uh, the monotype tier obviously has stuff that is banned, but and we are using some stuff that is obviously. So we'll be playing the anything goes tier 6v6 level 100 only. Don't try and do anything crazy, but yes, this is where we'll be playing for most of the time, and we'll see if anything else comes up. Yes, and even though it is an Anything Goes tier, we are still abiding by any clauses and bans that will be in the next slide. Please read it, please. As I know people have broken clauses, and I've been actually one of them, unfortunately. But, you know, it's like, just do it before, you know. If you think, um, this might be breaking a clause, just check, because you could get get an automatic forfeit or be forced to read battle or mostly just likely get an automatic forfeit yeah make sure you read the rules obviously in the past people have definitely uh, broken them and i've given them more chances more often than not but this time around you know obviously people are more familiar with things so you know obviously i'm just gonna say <laughs> you get a forfeit so there's that uh you know one week to do the battles as usual unless an extension is given on the sunday before the week is done this is a new rule that i came up with during the ddl season just because people were into the last second to do things and asking for extensions at the last second as well let's say the week start let's say the week starts on a monday obviously and it ends on or let's say it starts on tuesday right and then you have all that time from tuesday till the sunday to ask for an extension this is sunday at 12 p.m EST so basically you have to ask me you know you have to DM me or Tori obviously and we'll see it in discord obviously you know the time or whatever so even if it's just like one minute right before it's still technically fine so just make sure you do that obviously if that comes up yep all right for the draft you will be drafting 10 Pokemon and one mega from the type you're assigned um, if everyone gets it random like a random type but if you're like crap i don't want this you can get you can get one chance to get it randomized to something else if you want yeah and definitely beneficial the first time we ever did this league i obviously didn't do too many videos on it but it was definitely like i had psychic at first and then i got fairy and some other people got some other crazy stuff but generally speaking yeah but uh do you get three changes this season uh once playoffs hit you get three more changes this has always been a staple in my uh leagues i used to do it by week you would get five changes but now because i'm not crazy um now you only get three changes through the whole entire season you could be last week of the season and get when you could use your three changes if you wanted to because obviously you should be allowed to do it shouldn't be any real reason why you shouldn't be able to and then obviously if you make it the playoff you get three more changes uh sorry yes uh next rule please do not be salty or whiny in the discord chat uh, it just brings down everybody, makes your opponent just feel crappy for winning or for losing. Um, and Cog and I are not here to be your parents. Even though people like to call us their parents, we are not your parents. Yeah, that, that yeah, you rule... Can be, you can, yeah, you can talk about the battle. You can, like, you know, recap or, like, talk about, oh, well, I screwed up here or you screwed up there, blah, 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 blah. Like, give meaningful advice is our basic point. Don't cry over RNG or paralysis or any other BS, okay? We don't care. No one cares. No one wants to see you type in capital letters how fucked up it was that you got frozen this turn. Okay, we get it. It happens. Talk about the strategy of anything else. If you have nothing else better to say, then just don't say anything. Just say GG and move on. 
you talk about the battle in general. If the person even just says, you know, oh, I'm sorry about the paralysis, just say it's the game we play. Because that's the best answer you can give. Because it literally means, yeah, shit happens. All right? Exactly. Yeah, so don't don't be an ass. Uh, don't push your luck with the rules, too. They're straightforward and to the point. This is a very big part of this, because some people love to, you know, push it to the limit and try and ask me different things that obviously, you know, I, I know what the rules are. I've read them. I've gone over them. I've even edited them so many goddamn times. Don't push your luck. Please don't. Just don't. If you, if you don't know if it's banned or if it's against the rules, ask or just reread them and make sure you understand the context of which they are being given to you, obviously. I should mention this yeah. as well. There are going to be, and this will be something I'll explain later, there will be, I want to say, 12 teams in 11 weeks. So, you know, natural stuff, you know. And it will be a top eight situation where the top eight make it and the bottom four do not. I just want to put that out there now. This is not on the slide, obviously. It's not on any of the slides, actually. I forgot to put it there, but that should be something I want to say, too. But let's move on to bands and clauses. Obviously, we're not going to read them all. That just takes up too much time. You guys can obviously pause the video and look at them. But these are obviously the bands and clauses. And, you know, there are different things like Arena Trap, Shadow Tag, you know. That's why Mega Gengar isn't allowed. And I did a lot, and I mean a lot, of testing uh, throughout this. And that's the reason why I have banned so many of these Pokemon. I wasn't going to have something like um, Genesect or like Theramosa ban, but then I did a bunch of testing and I was like, eh, you know, on the off chance and then this, that, and the third, and I said, you know what, let's just throw it away entirely. And I nearly had Baton Pass, but then I remembered who I was. I don't really like Baton Pass in my, well, I'm supportive of Baton Pass. It's just not my favorite thing. Um, but moving on, we get to the questions. This will be on both applications, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning with Spectators and Team Builders. This is a new thing that we will be including. But let me first read off just, you know, little questions for people who are actually applying. Hi, how's it going? I'm Incog. Uh, name or Discord name, obviously. You need the time zone as well. Um, this is very important for planning out battles, planning out drafting. If, we ever, if I ever get to do a fast draft ever again, this is very important. But obviously, you'll be able to probably just do a slow draft with a 24-hour, 12-hour timer. Other league experience, if you have any, this will not benefit you for me picking you, but this will tell me, do you have any other league experience? You could put down the league, you could put down who was run by, you could put down the placing, you put down whatever you want. Just tell me, have you ever been in any other leagues? How well did you do? What was, you know, like who ran it, whatever. It's whatever to me, but you can definitely put it down. <clears throat> also, I want to just go back to the team, the name and discord name. Um, please, and I'm going to say this so many goddamn times, please, put down the numbers with the Discord name. I get it. You know, we all know, if you guys, if you're already a part of servers with me, fine, but if I don't know who you are, and you're just in another, like, if I've never talked to you, or our only interaction is through one other random server that I may or may not be a part of anymore. Please give me a DM. I'm a very friendly person or hit me up on Twitter and I'll send you like my link to my person to the server, you know, my Twitch server, whatever have you. And then, you know, I can at least say, okay, well, this person wants to join the league. And if you get in, then I'll be like, okay, cool. Now, this last one is very important. This is the one that means the most. Do not meme with this. Why should you be selected for the league? Because I like to see new people, but also old faces in the league, obviously. I'm not going to just pick people, you know, based on the fact that, hey, look at this guy. He won a league. I'm going to obviously pick him. We, league winners and runners up get automatic for, you know, that's bias. Everyone else is selected. I want to know why I should select you. Can you be a good competitor? Can you not cry and whine in the server? Are you a decent human being? And additionally, you know, anything else that you think I should know? Because believe me, I don't just pick random people. I literally go through those and I read through them. I'm like, okay, here are legitimate reasons why this person should be a part of it. Or, you know, I know this person, you know, their battle style is pretty good. Or, you know, they're going to be a fun person to have in the server, for instance. And just to put it out there for, you know, before Tori gets to read off the team builders and spectators, which I'll, you know, I'll preface first, obviously, with what those positions will be doing. 
Um, obviously, I'm going to be picking at least, I want to say, 9 to 10 people. If the winner and runner-up don't want to participate, it'll be 11 people, obviously. So, there's your context there. And on the application as well, you'll need to put down the team name, which will be a question. It's not really like something that's like a question. It's just something that'll be there. But these are the main things you want to focus on. Now, to preface before Tori starts speaking, team builders are people who'll be helping a specific team. That means you'll get the team builder role and the team role. This means you only team build. You cannot ghost and you can only help them with team building. That's it. There's nothing really else. Um, if the person cannot battle for whatever reason, and this has to be known, this has to be said to me, you have to at me your Tory, you have to be like, hey, I can't battle, my team builder is going to battle for me. That is completely fine. But you need to tell us, because we're not going to just sit here and just wonder, oh man, when are they going to get the battle done? You guys need to be got the battle done already, it's going to be by your team leader. like, when did you tell me? You're going to be like, I had to tell you, I'm going to establish this now. You need to listen to this part. Spectators are people who are just watching and will be able to participate in predicting with me and Tori every week. And you know they add, you know, playful banter. But Tori, read off those, uh, read off those uh, numbers. <clears throat> All right. So number one, you know, your name, Discord name. Once again, same thing with if you're just applying for the league. You know, you need the Discord number so we actually know who you are. Uh, joining Incog server for a little bit. You know. So we know that you aren't some rando who's gonna, you know, be trolling and annoying. All right, so for team builders, you know, indicate which team you want to help. Uh, you know, if, if you're not sure and you just want to get placed with some random team, just put NA and then we'll, you know, assign you accordingly. For spectators, you know, just sort of indicate if you're gonna be like, if you have any experience with battling if you're gonna actually have like advice to give or if you just like you know a witty person in general and can have banter during the battles and in between battles and a lot of good stuff and then for both team builders and spectators if you want uh i thought this was an awesome idea is that uh in previous leagues uh Hancock and i have been well are sort of competing on who guesses the right um who wins each week and then to the entire league. So for those positions, if you want to join in on that, you know, be on the slide saying, you know, so-and-so is, you know, has, you know, guessed this many right and this many wrong, you know, along with us. The main point of those, that I did say before the team, I didn't mention the team builds be also be able to vote, Excuse my English here. Uh, I didn't mention that team builders would be able to vote as well, but yes, you'll be able to vote as well. But I'm going to put it out there for this last one, and the third one I'll talk about in a minute. Um, this, like, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to say yes, but I need it to be a majority if you're going to apply for this, because I don't want to, like, have majority no and still provide it. It'll be a collective vote, though. So let's say six people vote for one team and four people vote for another team. It's going to go to the six it's gonna go like we might split it up there too but we'll definitely um keep it in mind you guys might also just be listed like separately but we'll see i'll definitely see how it goes if there's not a lot of spectators then we'll see how it will go if there's a lot then i'll split it off but we'll see how that goes spectating the proper banter and advice is kind of just like can you be a person in the server <laughs> can you also just not be a dick face when someone loses or something happens to somebody where they lost or they get six or something bad happens to them like just be like hey you know it's gonna be better just be you know be a person you know be friendly and that's really it you know i don't expect you to be always perfect but you know be a person you know be like hey do you need any advice on how you can do this that and the third and you know you can if you spectate and you want to help someone team build i'm just gonna hand you the team building role anyway it's not like it's going to establish like anything else and the only reason i establish it to one particular team is so that you don't go around team building with everybody that's a very important thing and yes you can have multiple team builders if so and uh for number two uh put any if i'm sure at the time um by the time the video comes out uh, you're probably not gonna be sure anyway but if you th like if you like if you and your friend are applying and he's like oh what happens if i get in you know you can put down his team or whatever you know what i mean you could do that but 
Moving on to the next slide, I have one surprise. Your boy <laughs> is coming back to doing his own leagues. I have not done my own leagues in a little bit now. And this is the logo I made fairly recently, and I used it for a few leagues. Even for the Lido League, which we'll get to when that video comes out, whenever that draft is over. And uh, yeah, I am coming back as a Sub-Zero Syndicals for this model type of league. And yes, you'll have to fight me at some point, because <laughs> uh, it's 11 weeks, so you have to fight me. But I just wanted to throw that out there, because I said there would be a little surprise. This is a surprise, obviously. And yeah, I, I didn't know where else to put it, and I thought it would be really cool to come back, you know, and you know, do leagues again. And I hope I can do well Ooh. as well. Uh, but moving on though, obviously this last one is just both applications are due when? January 1st. There it is. Because yeah. obviously this will not start till at least January because I know a lot of people are still going to be busy for the rest of December. And then we have a little break from uh, when this, when, from the DDL ending till this actually starts, which will probably be a little bit into January, just so we can all establish, get some better footing on whatever we're doing, you know, maybe a job, maybe people are, you know, going back to school late January or even early January, just so you get your footing back and be like, hey, this is when this is gonna start. Obviously, once the draft ends, within that next week, the league will begin. So applications will be done. I will announce it on a new Twitter, which I'll make for the league, for my leagues, and ob obviously, and then I'll announce it there. And then you will have time to join the server. I'll be sending out invites or whatever. Draft, draft is over. One week later, league starts. That is your kind of timeline, I guess. So from Tori and I, that will be your application video for the Mountain Type Battle Association. Obviously guys, you know, if you wanna apply, apply down below in the description with the Google form. And obviously I hope that we We'll someday battle, maybe. Or maybe we'll see you in the server as a spectator or team builder. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to the day. If you are new, Tori, you can say goodbye. Goodbye. And we will talk to you guys later.